Well, we really have to define what we mean by complications. So, for example, if we said uh, a sore arm or a little redness, that might be 50, 70 percent of us. Those are transient, they go away, don't require any treatment. I think when most people talk about a real complication or a serious thing, probably the most common would be an anaphylactic reaction, an allergic reaction. That happens about one in a million. Everything else is far rarer than that. So rare that between the Mayo system and Kaiser Permanente, so now you're talking about uh, tens of millions of covered lives, we can't put together enough people who have had severe reactions to vaccines that have harmed their health or uh, damaged them in some way to actually study it. They are that rare. Another way of say, saying it is that vaccines are that safe. We have to be very careful and discerning about what's a reaction and what isn't, and what's the benefit versus the risk, just like we do with the rest of life. A lot of what people say is a reaction to a vaccine isn't a reaction to a vaccine. It happened in temporal association. Let me give you two lines of evidence for that. One is where studies have been done, where somebody's told they're going to get, let's say, a flu vaccine, um, because they say the flu vaccine causes the flu in me, and they get a saltwater placebo, no difference in reaction rates. I did one of those studies myself and published it. 300 people that we tested in, no difference in reaction rates. 